G'day, I'm uh, Lieutenant Nick Elks from the uh, 6th Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. I'm the platoon commander of uh, 2-1 Platoon, a Bravo company. We're out here conducting live fire training uh, with Cold Steel Company from the 1st 27th uh, US Army. Uh, we're located here in the Philippines, uh, out in a field environment. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's vital to Australia that we uh, get out into the near region and we interact with our, our partner forces. So we're out here training with uh, the US Army and the uh, armed forces of the Philippines in, in order to uh, build cooperation uh, between our militaries. So I'm a platoon commander in the Royal Australian Infantry. Uh, so essentially my role is to coordinate uh, a platoon of individuals, roughly uh, 25 soldiers. So uh, Australia believes in uh, the security and cooperation in the uh, Indo-Pacific and as such it's, it's vital to us that we get out, uh, interact with our, our partner nations uh, and uh, where possible build cooperation between our militaries uh, like we're doing out here on Exercise Balakatan. Alright, so we're, uh, we're infantry soldiers uh, as part of Bravo Company from the 6th Battalion Royal Australian Regiment and we're here as part of the uh, Land Mobile Training Team 5 uh, of the Joint Australian Training Team, the Philippines. So our role here is uh, essentially to assist in training members of the uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines. And in doing so, we've had the opportunity to train uh, with the US Army and with the uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines on a live fire uh, exercise and uh, soon to, uh, to be a field training exercise. Yeah, I believe uh, Exercise Balakatan is a symbol of the deepening relationships in between uh, the US Army, uh, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, particularly the Philippines Army, and the Australian Defence Force, uh, in this case, uh, the Australian Army. Uh, the type of training that we're currently doing is a live fire uh, exercise, so essentially this replicates the uh, conditions of a battle uh, that a soldier would see out on the ground, so we're utilising live ammunition uh, with realistic targetry and uh, live offensive support. Uh, example of that being artillery in order to simulate realistic conditions to uh, train our soldiers in a manner uh, that's realistic and will uh, provide dividends to them uh, when the time comes for a, a real fight.